I'm here with uh, Tahir Bashir, and we're continuing our series of segments on digital service providers. Uh, hi, Tahir, and thanks for being on. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, so uh, today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the relationship between uh, DSPs and uh, and the prospective, you know, uh, uh, content providers and rights holders. So how. Uh, is uh, how important is it to actually understand who the right person to talk to is within an organization and, and what's the best way to do that for, for a startup that wants to make a deal with, say, Warner or Universal? Uh, it's crucially important. I mean, I remember when I uh, uh, acted for um, uh, one of the startups that we ended up s selling, so it wasn't a startup by the time we sold it, that we, it took us a year when we first did it to find the right person within the label and once we'd found them, things started moving much quicker. So ultimately, you need to be dealing with the right people. Um, what is the best way to do that? Obviously, do your research, uh, ask around, use lawyers that have have dealt with them because they have a hotline into them and yeah. um, they, they know who basically makes the decisions and who to deal with. But, but if you're not talking to the right person, you're banging your head against a brick wall. Absolutely. And uh, there's a bit of a cultural difference actually between the US and the UK. I've, I've dealt with uh, companies on both sides of the Atlantic. And and so what's the best way to, because I know in the, in the States it's very much a personable approach and you know you actually end up you know becoming friends with some of these people and go for dinner with them or, or having a barbecue. Yeah. In the UK it's a little bit more complex because the relationships don't build quite as quickly. So, so what's the recommendation to find the right person within an organization and actually build a really great relationship so that they can advocate for your company within uh, their own? Yeah, I mean that is actually the key. Is if you can if you can find people that effectively become champions of your service from within. So they really like your service, so that we're, when they're in their decision-making role, um, you know, they, they advocate it. That's the key. Uh, that's the key outside of digital service providers, anyway. Um, how do you do that? Um, you have, to, you know, ultimately it comes down to time. You need to try and spend time with people. So, um, you know. Uh, do the barbecues here obviously if you can do that then that's great uh, but ultimately the way it works I guess is uh going to events, uh, meeting people, following up, going for coffees, going for lunches, um, but just getting to know someone and understanding their culture and what, what what's important to them and being able to show them that your solution deals with those issues. Yeah. And finally, looking at uh, how uh, you can help uh, yourself uh, getting to these people, uh, how important is it to uh, hire the right people within your own organization as a, as a startup uh, in order to ensure that perhaps you hire somebody that already has some relationships built up and, and why do you find those people? Yeah, um, it's not just startups we're talking about here, I mean ultimately course, yeah. you know, there's different levels of service provider, you start up and then actually in the music industry with digital service providers you, you need to scale up relatively quickly because uh, time ticks away, you've got short term <laughs> deals so you need to make sure you you're using those those rights so um, finding the right type of people is crucial first of all they need to have the skill set to deal with uh, understanding uh, you know, at the business development level the rights that, that, that we're talking about so quite often what happens is um, the digital service provider will actually look at the, the rights owners themselves and look at people within those organizations and hire them yeah. I mean if you almost look at you know, uh, the PRS, half of them go on to private uh, um, DSPs. Similarly, at labels, they kind of switch, switch sides. I can name, uh, you know, uh, many of the digital service providers, the number of people that have come from labels or collection societies or publishers. So, um, yeah, so uh, it's a very common practice to uh, hire people that have done it before. Awesome. Thank you very much. And until the next segment, thank you.